Hey there, good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today because we're home for the holidays and we're going to turn that homemade Thanksgiving bread into homemade Thanksgiving stuffing. So let's get cooking. Good looking. What I have down here, I have nine cups of the dried out uh, bread cubes of our homemade uh, Thanksgiving bread that I showed you to make. I'll be sure to leave an I card up above in the corner here. And now we already cooked our Thanksgiving turkey. I have some of the juices and the broth and everything from the Thanksgiving bird right in my uh, Instapot right here. I have two eggs in my uh, little croquette there. We're going to sit there, poke the yolks, and scramble them all up. So let's just poke the yolks. And now I'm just going to grab it and just quick give it a good scramble. As such. Then we're going to sit there and grab some of the broth from the uh, cooked up turkey and everything. And now we're just going to temper our eggs because you don't want to sit there and add all the eggs into the hot broth. Otherwise, they're just going to scramble up on you. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more broth. I'm going to introduce it to my eggs. I'm going to temper them up a little bit more. And I'm going to do this one or two more times before I dump all of the eggs into the broth solution back here. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. And like I say, this is going to be a rough cut. I'm sorry that it's not going to be an edited version, but with the holidays here, and I wanted to put out some videos, and I lost all my videos because my laptop, well... It took a turn for the worse on me, and it just up and died, and I'm left with no other alternatives but to remake all the videos that I did lose on it, so I apologize. Now, I'm just going to sit there and take all of this, and we're just going to dump it all into there. I'm going to take my spoon back here. And we're just going to stir this all up as such. And give it a good stir. Now, I'm going to take the one packet of this true lemon. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to add all that true lemon. To our uh, turkey stock along with our beaten egg. Now back here I have some celery and I have some onion that I already went ahead. I pre-chopped up. I'm going to add all that to my Instapot. I also went ahead. I pre- uh, fried up some Italian uh, sausage and uh, giblets and the neck and all that other good stuff. We're going to add that. Stir that all in. Uh, let's go ahead. Turn the saute back on. And now 
give this all a good stir. Now, let's add our seasonings. I'm going to sit there and add two tablespoons of my poultry seasoning. So here's the one tablespoon of poultry seasoning. And now let's get the second one. We're also going to be wanting to add some parsley and that's going to be two tablespoons as well. So let's go ahead and add our parsley. And now you're going to want to sit there and just add one-fourth of a pinch of uh, fennel seed. You're going to want to add, or add half a pinch of rosemary. And do the same thing with that. Anytime you're adding any of these fruit or herbs, rub them between your fingers and it awakens them. One fourth pinch of thyme and marjoram. So. Now give this all a good stir again. Allow this just to cook up just a little bit. Let the party begin in the Instapot. And then we're going to add all of our bread cubes. Alright, now, I like to sit there and add a little bit at a time and stir them all in. Just as such, come back, grab some more. And folks, do not over stir your stuffing, please. I've seen so many people make mash out of their stuffing. You want your stuffing to still have somewhat of the shape of the cubes. And I'm just going to come back down here and I'm going to turn the Instapot off. And I'm going to add the rest of my dried fried cubes. So I'll see you when I'm all done adding all the bread cubes and it's all been stirred. Now, if you're making this ahead of time to help make your special day of Thanksgiving, run a little bit smoother in your kitchen. You can go get these uh, nice aluminum foil trays and I like the ones that come with these little cardboard covers that you can put right down on top or you can get the circular ones. Whatever ones you like the best you do whatever you do. But I'm going to go ahead I'm going to take some of this stuffing because 
I'm going to sit there and freeze some of it. So, on Thanksgiving, my day is really super easy. So, I'll see you when I'm all done stuffing all this stuffing into my trays here. Alright, I have that one tray done. And don't forget to sit there and put your nice little cover on. Now, pinch your cover all down into place. And then let this cool down a little bit before you go running to put it off into the freezer. But before you put it off into the freezer, be sure to mark it. And it's that easy and that simple.